Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back, and after, and after the uh, previous video, I said I was gonna come up here and show you the uh, copper tube active loop antenna, and here it is. It's about three, little over maybe a little under three and a half inch uh, feet. Excuse me, inches feet in diameter. This was a copper coil. 3 eighths of an inch in a diameter, 10 feet long. And uh, when I bought the uh, copper coil, uh, I just, un when I unraveled it from the box, I just shaped it into the loop because it's pretty soft. It's soft enough you can bend it by hand. And so I got it as close as uh, round as I can. It's not perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and of course you remember the, um, with the polyurethane and here's the connection I tapped in it's very bright out here today so please excuse any um we can focus in there a little bit okay so <clears throat> yeah so um I tapped in holes here and the hole here there's a small gap here about a half an inch and of course I tapped in a screw here screw here and wire running to this uh, wire running to the uh, 9 to 1 ballon same thing on this side crimped here and of course I could have soldered it and all that but I wanted to do the because I may have to change things so it's not permanent yet but it will be permanent soon and of course I will weather seal all this 9 to 1 ballon I had this I picked this up a few weeks ago from eBay and I believe it was around twenty dollars. Okay, and I had it first without the ballon, just with the standoff, straight to the uh, coax. And I was getting noticeably noise, uh, uh, more noise. So I say, let me try it with the ballon because um, thanks to Brian, he had given me the idea before. And if you don't have the ballon, you can use a a choke. You can just take the uh, the uh, coax to do a choke uh, coil to reduce some of the uh, noise but the 9 to 1 balance seems to be working well been getting good receptions on it and it, it does um, and of course this is uh, 1 megahertz up to 54 megahertz 150 watts but of course I don't plan to transmit on this so that's it's not relevant to me it's just to receive and of course the coax and let me just show you the side here there's a, a pole steel uh, steel pole this is the uh the, the wood that was uh, supporting this pipe clamp pipe clamp down here to an umbrella stand temporary if i want to make it more permanent i'll just put a couple of sandbags because uh because of the high winds if we do get high winds or anything like that it's very bright out here the sun is out it's about 60 degrees and you got and the over uh, the another thing is the coax. Most of the coax is just RG eight X, pretty cheap coax. I plan to replace that with LMR two hundred and forty, and that will help with some of the uh, loss because this is uh, combined. This uh, one because I had to do one. It's a BNC, so I have to do one connection here, and then over here I had to. Uh, join two more i mean another uh, another coax so there's a total of about a hundred feet in total which is i think it's a little too long and i probably need to move this around and try to get at least 75 feet all the way to the basement and also i just want to get one continuous because you can get losses along the way and also chances of um noise so i'm gonna get the lmr 240 for that so that's another issue but um tennis seems to be working well it does receive am broadcast band or medium wave the whole spectrum no problem um of course with the lna and, um excuse me and also shortwave shortwave seems to receive shortwave pretty well and i even um went above that to uh, F5 
FM, of course, copper. Any, any, I think any hunk of metal you put at a certain height is gonna, as it, although it's not effective as it as an, an, an FM and then higher, but I do pick up broadcast FM on it. Air band picked up some aviation band on it. I picked up um, police. Uh, New York City Police uh, frequencies on this antenna. Okay, so it's, uh, the copper tubing is pretty uh, receives pretty well, and of course um, I will be weatherproofing it uh, with the copper itself. Um, I was I read several several suggestions, excuse me, um, including painting in black or polyurethane coating on this. Um, or, um, you know, as you were told, you could leave it like that and let it oxidize, it doesn't make it, but I don't want to do that. I just want to keep the, uh, um, so I plan to either, or I read that you could also, if you paint it black, then that's good for the UV. You kind of, so I'm going to do something, I'm definitely going to protect it from the elements. And of course, the umbrella stand, you've seen that before. And if I want to keep it up here, I'll probably just put a couple of sandbags just to make sure it doesn't tip over on a high wind, which has happened before in the past when I had it down there in the yard it happened one time that it was a uh, nor'eastern and I left it out there with the hula loop and it tipped it over but no damage nothing like that but still you know I want to take any chances so eventually I just put a couple of sandbags there but right now it's still fine it's holding up fine been up here for three days and you know stay tuned for that in the meanwhile while i'm up here let me just show you the other antennas and over here is the uh mfj 1886 receive loop antenna with the pole uh right now it's pointing east to west i just changed the orientation before it was north to south now it's east to west okay so there you go with that and I really like the uh, loop antenna it's very durable the past month or so there was a couple a few nor'easterns about I believe we had a total of three and wind gusts over 60 miles per hour and no problem with standing no problem with that and um, the mini whip that was there is gone I'm no longer using the mini whip because I've been you know I took down I even took down the end fed so right now it's just this loop and this loop. No more mini whip and all the long wires are gone for now. I'm just gonna be doing the loops over the summer, spring and summer. And of course over here I have the uh, this cone working pretty well. Of course there's rusting on this pole. For the, this cone been up for a year now. So I'm gonna eventually take, take it down, maybe repaint it or Replace that pole. But right now it's working well. So if it's working, you know, don't. Uh, what's that model they say? Don't fix whatever's not broken. So it's working well. Leave it as is. And of course, over here, I got my uh, over the air television receiving antennas. I got the Clear Stream 4 there, Clear Stream 2. With the VHF and they're pointing to the uh, New York City Empire State Building Times Square transmitters and broadcast and I get about 43 channels which is not bad okay and of course I got it hooked up to the uh, amplifier or pre amplifier because I run about a uh, it's almost 100 feet of, co of coax, so I, 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 get, I get some loss on it, plus it boosts a little bit of the signal. Otherwise, you know, about 10 channels, I really need to use this because otherwise I get a lot of, um, especially as the summer, as we get closer to the summer, we get more foliage. I may lose a couple of channels. So there you go. So that's my setup here right now. And of course, the copper tube active antenna in the previous video you saw the uh, LNA 
Of course, I can't use it without the uh, low noise amplifier and it works good. Um, of course, I wanted to make this active because I just want to see if I can somehow make it as close or even better than the uh, MFJ. And some there's some days, uh, sometimes that it gives it a run for its money. But it's, right now, it's not going to be the MFJ loop replacement. Of course, if I didn't have the MFJ loop, I would be pretty happy with this one. But now that I have the MFJ loop, um, so I, you know, that's the standard now that I'm trying to uh, for that. Okay? So let me wrap this up. And like I said, any questions or comments, uh, just leave it on the... Uh, below the description and if you like the videos give it a like if you haven't subscribed uh, subscribe to my channel please do and with that i'll bid you farewell see you next time take care bye bye